was our worst month to be shut down. You know, that's our best month of the year. We make the most money in that month by a mile. Owner Stephen Hoffman is talking about March when a Sportsman's Hall roller rink in Upper Co. would have normally looked like this, a packed skating floor hosting about 20 parties a weekend. Closed for three months because of the pandemic, he was surprised last week when the governor gave the go-ahead to reopen. Well, it was funny because we were not prepared to open and we were thinking September. So when all of a sudden it became June the 19th, we didn't, we were not prepared. But he's getting there. Measurements are being taken to put in plexiglass by the concession stand and skate rental. Cleaning stations will also be put in and the entire building will be regularly disinfected. We do Zoom meetings every Wednesday of all the owners across the country. So, you know, we're just following the lead as far as what they are doing. Now, Hoffman takes health and safety precautions extremely seriously because before this whole thing really kicked off here in Maryland, he was very sick. 16 days I was sick. Despite testing negative for the coronavirus, Hoffman is pretty sure he had it and he doesn't want anyone else to get sick. So when it comes to the issue of face masks, he has to be flexible. We came up with a compromise and we're going to have a section that is dedicated to the people that refuse, do not want to wear masks. We want people to wear masks when they're here, when they're going from off the floor. We can't tell people to wear a mask while they're skating. So that's how we decided to handle it. And to open safely, Hoffman says it will happen in stages, first on June 26th for private rentals, and then open to the public on July 2nd. Limited hours out of health concerns, so call ahead and check online. Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.